Hey everybody, this is Hale. Welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. We're in the midst of a maintenance mission on the space station, so I thought I'd show you the end of it rather than forcing you to watch the entire thing. I've already lifted off a uh, new mission to replace some solar panels, which you can see because kind of see, because as always, we're on the dark side of the planet. <laughs> always seems like that. So anyway, uh, this is the capsule which is in orbit, and I'll be coming up on my final adjustment burn to rendezvous with the space station. I thought I'd start it here. So these are some solar panels for the station itself. Let's switch over and I'll show you the station. I've been doing some work with that off and on. So, I've also named it after Grace Har Harper, Admiral Grace Harper. If you don't know who that is, you should look her up, especially if you are in the computer science field. Uh, it's a very interesting history. So, this is the space station, if it comes back up. There we go. So, as you can see, we've been doing a little bit of work. And is this on the dark side as well? Yes, everything is on the dark side. I think the sun's gone out. So, what one of the things I wanted to do is, rather than just making some... Uh, spaceships and kind of attaching them together. I wanted to make some specialized modules and kind of start building a specialized or dead or um, purpose-built space station rather than just a bunch of spaceships stuck together with like a command module and engine and stuff like that. So as you can see here, I do have a large solar panel array right here, but what's happening, it's not doing it now, but it may be doing it soon, is it would develop a uh, vibration and it would just start to wiggle back and forth. It would end up shaking the whole space station. I honestly don't know why. I took some I-beams, which I think are new in the 1.18.4 version, and stuck them together and attached these solar panels on top of them. You can kind of see them here. And I don't know whether they're not strong enough or what. Uh, but it, the whole thing would start vibrating and or oscillating and then it would just make the whole station shake and uh, so I'm going to replace them. Uh, also I added a battery pack and you can kind of see it right here. There's actually two core batteries which you can't really see because they're covered up uh, surrounded by some radial batteries. I guess you can see it right here yeah so Z14, Z500, yeah, okay. So we have uh, some batteries right here, and then I can detach this. This is the delivery vessel that brought the batteries here, which is still attached. I can detach this and leave these here. So I'm trying to make it more of a purpose-built structure rather than just a bunch of spaceships stuck together. So that's pretty much where we're at. Uh, going back out to orbit, uh, so here's the station right here. And then here's my delivery mission. Uh, let's switch back to that. Go back here. And select that guy. So as you can see, this is the new uh, solar array. It's a much more substantial structure. I have a docking port on one end and the other end uh, so that I can deliver, attach, and then the uh, payload to the station and then detach the delivery rocket. And then it has a series of expanding panels which are all folded up right now, right here. So there's two on each girder section. So there are a total of four girder sections, so a total of eight solar panels. Each one rotates 90 degrees for better coverage. And then on the off uh, side, I have some little stick-on solar panels I thought I'd just put there for the heck of it. I didn't want to put expanding solar panels on all four sides because, in theory, if these rotate, they may bump into each other. Like if this if this one swings out and then this there's one out here, they may bump into each other. I honestly don't know how bad that is. I did have to make some optimizations to the rocket uh, for this. Uh, one thing because I tried it out the other day and it went not perfectly. One thing I did was I had to put some RCS burners on the front because the RCS burners. Uh, control burners uh, on the back. Uh, the center of gravity, I think, is out here somewhere. I could probably check that, but I won't. The center of gravity out is out in front of 
or center of mass, I guess, I don't know what you call it in space, uh, is out in front of here. And not having a burner out on this end made docking maneuvers very hard because it would start to pitch the ship when you wanted to do lateral movement because there wasn't any burner out here. Uh, so I had to add some burners out here. I also added some more RCS fuel tanks so I don't run out. Uh, and actually, uh, let's see how my orbit's doing. I think I have, I programmed in the next burn. I think I have plenty of time. Or did I lose that? Apparently I lost that. Apparently I lost that since I switched out the ship. I didn't know it was going to do that, so that kind of sucks. But that's fine. I have plenty of time, I'm sure. So let's go back here. Go to the Space Center. Go to Vehicle Assembly Building. And let's see if my vehicle... So here's the vehicle. This is kind of the standard launcher I have. So we have one big engine at the bottom, surrounded by eight uh, outboard engines, which do a good job. A array of solid boosters in the middle, and then an array of more engines at the top using these radial mount engines rather than inline mount, I guess. So some optimizations I did is I added these little fuel tanks right here on top of the solid rocket boosters, and then I have them feed fuel into the main rocket uh, fuel tank so that the main rocket will burn just a little bit longer. So obviously these don't add much to a fuel tank that's this, comprised of this and that down here. Uh, but every little bit helps since the main engine was burning out before the radial engine. So that still happens, but it happens a lot closer as far as optimizations go. As I said, I added some more RCS fuel, and then for this ship, I added, you can kind of see it, these RCS burners up at the front to maintain control. And I will save this while I'm thinking about it. So, <coughs> excuse me. That's pretty much where we're at right now. Uh, so let's go back. Let's go back. Go back. Exit out. And let's go to our solar panel ship. So I kind of name them after the purpose. Uh, I think for permanent space structures, I'll name them after people. So one of the things I... So let's set this as our... No. Oh. Uh, I have to do that. Double clicking does not work in this game. Uh, so let's go back here. So set this as my target. So anyway, you can see the intersects right here, and I can play with these to get these better. I have been noticing the flickering that I mentioned on the previous mission. It seems, so here's two intersects right here. These are on the same orbit. You go around, you cross this one, and then you cross this one. When your ship is between the first one and the second one, they start to flicker back and forth. I think that's a bug in version 1, or I'm sorry, 0 .18.4, uh, and it's kind of annoying. So I hope they fix that. When you're not in between these, it seems to be okay, but after you pass the first one, before you get to the second one, it just flickers back and forth. And as I said, it's annoying. So let's add a maneuver, and I had these... Uh, ah! I don't want to do that. All right, let's close that. Uh, stop that. And let's try it again. So, da, 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 da. These are getting further away. Whoops. I had it all set up. It was all so pretty. All so pretty. And I had like a six kilometer intersect and now I lost it. So that's 47 kilometer. That's pretty poopy. So right now, 90 kilometers and 51 kilometers. So let's see if we can do this. So let's slow this guy down. Will that help? 56. That's going the wrong way, right? Right. So then they unify. Twenty-two, eighteen. I swear I had, it. and then it disappears. What the? What the heck? Where'd it go? 
Is that because we're no longer intersecting? I don't know. So I had it. I had a maneuver all set up. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to start the recording and it'll be like I know what I'm doing. And no such luck. 47. Four, fifty-five. This is going the wrong way. Fifty-seven. Forty-nine. All right. Let's just do this burn, and then we'll worry about the uh, details later. So let's do this little bitty burn. There we go. Oops. So I click outside of the window. And let's clear that maneuver. Clear that clear that maneuver. Thank you. So let's see if I can work any more magic. I'm kind of curious what this will do. I can get I can get it to thirty, but then I end up hitting the planet. That doesn't work at all. So if I can't stay on this, the target will be behind me. Add maneuver. Let's see what we can do here. Still 45. 44. 44. Nah. And then they just don't intersect anymore after that because the orbit gets too wide. All right, so this is really as good as it's going to get. All right, let's wait until we go halfway around the planet. Let's try a maneuver here. 43. 43. So now that makes no sense. All right, well, let's just go around here and see what happens. We will worry about that when the time comes. 
So there I am. There it is. And I am going slower than it. So I should let it catch up, right? Right. Because I'm further away from the planet. Stop that. So here's the flickering again. I don't think that this is the way it's supposed to work. So if I just kind of slow my velocity up a little bit, what if I do a burn? Well, here, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can intercept the station. So it's behind me. There it is. And I'm kind of pointing in the right direction. So let's just do a burn and kill off some velocity. Seems like docking got harder in this version, or this update of the game. So we should be closing. Where's my velocity anyway? So it's way, it's up here. So I want to go down here. Bring it on more of a approach vector. So yeah, this makes sense. This will push me away from the planet. This is raising raising my orbit, pushing it out a little bit, I think. Either that or it's bringing it in closer. Who the heck knows? All this physics stuff. I like the expression of the Kerbals. <laughs> Apparently that was upgraded here. So what I want to do is try and bring my direction, my velocity towards the target more in line with where it is. And that will help me close the gap. I have some fuel left, not a huge amount. It'd be a little bit challenging. Uh, camera's reorienting itself. A little bit challenging to uh, not waste my fuel here. So let's see how we're doing. I do have plenty of monopropellant left. I want to go relative up. Okay, so it is a little bit closer. Let's see if I can use my thrusters for this. So let's stabilize here. Let's go to docking mode. And then turn my RCS on. It's still causing me to pitch down, though, without the SAS on. So, I think that's... How close are we getting? So, we're still approaching the station. And this is the direction I want to be in. So, why don't I just do this? I'll just use my thrusters here. The heck. Oh, it would help if I was in docking mode, eh? Let's 
see how we're looking right here. So my direction relative to the station is right here. That's fine. Uh, so I roll the ship or flip it. We. I'm just kind of maneuvering on thrusters right now to try and bring my velocity more in line with the station. I think I'll have to do a braking maneuver soon, so why don't I get prepared for that? Let's go back to staging. And let's get prepared to kill off my velocity. Relative to the station, that is. Oops. Oops. So, we're going to kill this off. So, we're kind of in parallel right now, I think, to each other. Is that good enough? Let's find the station again. So there is my velocity relative to the station. The station should be over down here. So I want to kill off some more velocity, I think. Whoa! Big swing right there. There we are, that's where I want to be. Alright, so now our, rel our relative velocity is just a couple meters, a few meters. Let's go back over here. You can see I'm still headed towards it, generally. And let's get on the other side of where my velocity is. And then let's go into docking mode and see if we can bring this more in line with the station itself. Now that my velocity is so low, you can see my thrusters are able to affect it much better. So I'm using my positional thrusters to kind of bring this in the line, hopefully without wasting too much RCS fuel. So there, it's about there. Bring it down and then bring it over and down. So the SAS module is maintaining my relative. There you go. Now I'm headed straight for the station. Up. Nope. 
up. I have to watch the nav ball because the uh, relative positioning, relative navigation is not where the way it looks on my screen. All right, there we go. And let's go back to docking mode, do a little bit of braking. Good. And let's go down. Bring this back in line. I'm going to turn the SAS off as much as possible. Bring this down a little bit more. And bring it over. And turn the SAS off so I'm not burning or wasting uh, reaction fuel. Okay, everybody. Uh, the uh, game just crashed, complained about my resolution, and then blew up. So this is from the uh, kind of from the last save point. I kind of got back to the place that I was at before, doing an approach to the station. So we're waiting for the station to catch up to us. It's about 11 kilometers away. Doing a little bit of course correcting. Hopefully without using too much monopropellant. Turn that off. Yeah, so it, it, I clicked out of the window to go do something else quick, and uh, it said, I can't do this resolution anymore, and then blew up. Apparently, okay, here comes the sun, so we'll at least have illumination. Oops. I'm going to do a little puff uh, up here. They seem to constantly be off too low, so relative too low. So let's do a little puff up here. All right. Turn that off. Actually, let's go here. And then do a bit of braking, bring our speed back down. Actually, let's go down here. Oops. So if I brake in this direction, that should push my relative direction back up towards the station. I keep drifting off. I think that's because the orbits are trying to diverge. And my resources are getting a little bit low. To constantly correct. As you can see, it's moving further and further away. So let's do another adjustment. In fact, let's just kill off our velocity. Let's just flip the ship over a couple times. <laughs> All right, there we go.
Alright. So it's much easier to deal with your relative velocities when they're as low as possible. So let's go right here. And then to balance this out, actually I want to aim right for this, I think. Because I'm actually moving away from the station very slightly. here good all right now we're approaching the station relatively on target Hopefully. So you can see, though, my speed towards the station is slowing. It's like we're getting dragged away by something. So let's try and compensate for that. Let's go up here. It looks like our orbit, let's just take a look at the orbital thing. So the orbits are so darn close, but I guess they're, they're trying to diverge, but you can see how synchronized they are, so it's not too bad. There we go. Let's let that cook for a little bit. I'll tell you, the uh, docking's got a lot more difficult in this version, I think. I don't know whether it's a bug or they made it more realistic or what. can see I'm starting to diverge course-wise. So let's just go up here and correct for that. And bring that right back into line. So you can see we're still trying to drift away very slightly, but hopefully each correction that becomes less and less. So let's actually go up here a bit further. Puff. There you go. So with any luck, unless I really screw this up, we'll be docking in the daylight, which is unusual for me because always it appears to be in the dark. As you can see, my velocity or my uh, direction of travel seems to want to drift down and to the right. So I'm correcting for that as we go.
There you go. So six kilometers in closing. Five and a half kilometers. Puff. I don't want my velocity of the station to get too high, otherwise I'll go right past it. Plus, I don't want to have to do a lot of expensive braking. It looks like we're no longer drifting away. So you can see my speed to the target is relatively stable. So I think now it is, yeah, see how it's flickering back and forth. So we're pretty much approaching it without drifting away. So that's good. So let me reorient towards the station. And at two kilometers, I'll start killing off my velocity using the... Uh, maneuvering thrusters. So pretty much this is a stern chase, I think, right now. We're kind of approaching it from behind. Go in the docking mode and go like this. Go. Go up to. And good. That should be pretty good until we get really close. We can start to see it. Let's make sure the lights are on. Yeah, they appear to be. And should we start braking? Do you believe? So bleed off some speed. Go up. No, yeah, up. Turn my SAS on, go up, bleed off some speed, turn the SAS off, continue to bleed off speed. Alright, now we need to slow down for the final approach, go up. Over. 
Okay, so now we're approaching probably slower than I wanted, but at three meters a second, that's fine. So I'm trying not to keep the SAS and the RCS on at the same time to avoid wasting monopropellant. I have a decent supply. I mean, I have a drop of liquid fuel left and some monopropellant. Uh, I'll probably have to do another fueling mission to the station, I think, after this one. But, uh, yeah, this is a fairly tricky cargo to deliver. This must be heavier than it looks. And we are perfectly on target, I would say. Where's the sun at? Are we going to lose it? No, I think we should be okay. <laughs> That'd be funny. Just as we lose it, if uh, we lose, or just as we get close uh, to docking, we lose the sun. I think I mentioned this, but on the first mission, uh, I had, I tried this before, and the center of weight is probably in front of the RCS thrusters on the main module. So I had to add RCS thrusters here to keep the uh, ship stable during docking. Otherwise, it would reorient, reorient itself because I could not maintain direction, and it was very annoying. Speaking of that, let's go down, down, down. And you can see my, my adjustments are getting more and more precise. So I'll have to pick out my docking port when I get closer. Actually, let's do a little couple puffs. Slow ourselves down. Do up. Over. And then back. Good. So we're approaching at less than a meter a second now. Very nice. I think the station has enough texture or detail. I may have to turn it down. It's causing my video card to wig out. Uh, but uh, we'll see how it goes. In fact, maybe I'll do that now. Hold on one second. Uh, settings. Uh, half resolution. Off two times. And, uh, I just lost my target. Don't know why. Okay, uh, back again from the uh, last auto save, uh, or quick save. Uh, so approaching the station, kind of where we were. Uh, my resources, not too bad. Let's go down, down. Oh, I'm in the wrong mode. Let's go down and over and turn the RCS off. So when I get closer, I'll break, I think, again. <laughs> I'll, have to piece, I'll have to piece all these pieces, piece all the pieces together, piece all the uh, recordings together around the crashes and stuff like that so we're not watching the same thing three times. So, closing to 400 meters. Our approach looks good. Let's move it over here a little bit. And turn the RCS back off. 
perch looks good. And once we get close enough, we'll have to pick out the docking port we want. And let's do a little bit of raking. There you go. Less than two meters of closure a second. are still on yep okay we should be good Bad boy, there, there. Align with our direction of travel more accurately. Good. That's exactly where we kind of want to be. Go back into docking mode. RCS on. Let's break to less than a meter. Sources, okay. Where's our sun at? Good. So we should have plenty of daylight left. RCS on. Go down. Please don't freak out. Turn that off. Down. Down. Over. Down. Down. There you go. So, 70 meters, thereabouts, and closing. I think... Let's go over that way a bit. No, don't do that. <laughs> So just above 50 meters and closing. I think we'll be aiming for this docking port right here, basically on the other side of where the panels are now. See if we can zoom out and get a better perspective. 
Seems about right. It still amazes me that to get off the planet, you need such momentum and such force, and then once you get into space, it becomes such a delicate operation. I think that's really cool. So I'll probably want to reorient more along this line, but I'll wait till we get closer to do that. And I do think we need to go like this. Puff, puff. Please don't do that. Puff. And down. Stabilize. Puff. The music for this sounds a little bit like EVE Online. If you've ever played EVE Online, it sounds very similar, I think. And we're approaching... I should just speed up a little bit. This is taking too long. <laughs> Puff. Puff. All right. I've doubled our speed. 40 meters and closing. Ish. 40-ish meters and closing. I like how everything gets so overexposed when you have a lot of lights on it. Okay, turn some of the perhaps whoops. Turn some of these off. Does that help? A little bit. So that's the docking port I do believe I want. So is it time to orient? Get a little closer, and then I'll try and orient to dock. Actually, maybe I should go up here. I don't think it really matters. All right, so 20 meters in closing. So now let us reorient the ship. Turn this off. Go like this. That may be all we have to do. <laughs> kind of straighten it out like here. There's the docking port. That looks good. Back to docking. And... Turn SAS off, RCS on, do a little puff backwards. Puff this way, that way. There you go, that's a decent perspective, kind of.
And I'll kind of line it up from this perspective and then move it around and see where else we need to be. All right, so we need to go up. Is this up? Yes, this is up. And with a ship this long, it's hard to get a good view. Right, there we go. Up. Up. All right, how's this looking? Need to go back over. Let's see if we can roll. Got that? Oops. Yeah, this big boom on the front is a real pain in the rear. So I'll just swing it around, orient to the docking board. This actually is not a bad position to be in. And stabilize right there. Turn it, turn that off. Puff forward. Turn that off. We need to go down, I think. Wrong mode, wrong mode, wrong mode. That was bad. Can I control from here? What does that actually do? Don't know. Alright, let's see how this is looking. Go forward a little bit. Looks good, although this is as close as I can get without zooming out. So you're kind of navigating long distance uh, to dock the ship. Does this look good on all angles? It does. I can't, I can't get a good view of the docking port. I think we need to go down. Back 
back up. Let's go over here, turn the SAS off. It'd be wonderful if I could actually see my docking port, you know what I mean? Uh, forward. I don't know. Up, up, please don't drift away. And are we going to do it? Are we going to do it? And we're docked. Thank God. And you can see, you see this wiggling right here? That's what this thing was doing, and it was shaking the whole station. This whole, all this wiggling right here. So I don't know. Maybe that's when you dock something, it just starts to wiggle these. So I can retract these. So I think if you speed things up, then it, yeah, then it stops. Or no, see, now it's doing it again. So retract these. So hopefully this new one, I'm glad you can see it. Hopefully this new one will not do that. So, oh my, that was nerve wracking though. So if anybody from squad is watching, it would be nice if you could center your camera on the docking port. I don't think control from here actually does that. I don't know why this is shaking. This doesn't make, uh, this doesn't, I don't understand this as to why this is vibrating like this. But hopefully this one is more sturdy and will not do that. All right, there you go. I think if, if you increase the time warp, it doesn't do that, but I don't know. I don't know why it's doing this, um, but as I said, hopefully this one this one will not, since it is more sturdy. But that was quite a challenge with a ship with a payload on the front this long, and I'm not sure how to change my camera so that I could see like the leading edge of this docking port, which was very 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 annoying, as you may or may not have been able to tell. So anyway, we'll call that submission. Hopefully I can piece all the crashes and the video together around all the crashes and other nonsense. Uh, and uh, hopefully it comes out well. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you very much for watching.